Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for December 4th through December 10th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. Take what does, leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so whatever falls out, I'm going to lay down and I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. So your intuition is on high, okay? It's on high this week. Uh, it, it feels like you know exactly what's going on. There's like no secrets to be had because you have a divine connection and it's speaking to you, okay? The divine is speaking to you this week and I feel like, you know, there's there could be some sadness, some discontent, rather... Uh, about a love, about a relationship, or about not receiving love. You may be feeling alone. Um, you may feel like, you know, you're you're all by yourself. You know that song, I'm all by myself. You know, you might feel like you're by yourself and that nothing is going to happen, but, you know, you know what's going on. You do. It feels like this is a week of letting go of the need to control, letting the universe drive, okay? And when you do that, your hopes and wishes will be fulfilled. And I think this week is, is mostly about um, following your intuition. And that will lead you to something really, really good. I think that's part of a lesson you need to learn of some sort is to really, really listen. 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 Pay attention to the signs. Listen to what you're hearing. Um, observation. You know, I think this is a week of growth for you put it that way and um, it feels like something it something has ended that was quite difficult in your life and now it's time to start a new chapter I think where there was there's been some deceit there's been some lies or there's been some sneakiness there's just been some trouble okay and I think the trouble is over that's what I see I feel like um, you're headed in the right direction, whatever that is, and I think it's towards love, or you're looking for love, you're open to love, and you're wanting love. I see there's like a big focus on love. I really want love right now, you know, but it feels like it, you're at a stalemate. Even though you want it, you may be at a place where it's not as um, prominent in your life as you would like, put it that way. You're feeling unfulfilled in the love department. That's what I. That's what I see. Um, it feels like probably what somebody that's watching this is in a state of denial over something. You know, maybe there's a lack of communication somewhere, or there's a lack of um, working together, or a lack of togetherness. Period for somebody, and and that person, whoever this is for, is feeling like, what the hell. What the hell? What? What? I, why? You know, I see that there's some questions here. Why is this happening to me? Um, it feels like it's really, really time for you to just focus, focus on the future, focus on your security, focus on your stability, and let let the universe drive. I mean, it's pretty clear. Okay, you will be successful in love. Divine timing is at play. Okay, trust me, divine timing is at play. Now, I want to let you know who we have here. We have Pisces and we have Taurus. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, which is you. Um, what else do we have for people? Did I say Aries? I think I did. Um, it just There's a whole lot of discontent here. Something is missing. 
you feel you know that something is missing in regards to your love life and there's there's unfulfillment here and it looks like you're so close to a completion you know something is just about over and it really was a lesson that needed to be learned and it has to do with you following your own path okay that's that's what I see there's a lack of excitement somewhere there's it's like there's some boredom with this this Queen of Wands reversed you know and you're just trying to keep it under control you're trying to remain poised and well put together but I think that deep down there's a lack of contentment okay um, and many of you may be feeling like Unloved. You may be feeling unloved. You may be feeling unhappy. I mean, with this Four of Swords right next to the Four of Cups, there's a lot of um, sadness, per se. You know, a need to just really be alone and figure this out. Something isn't right. And you feel it. You know it. And I think it's time for you to really um, do the right thing for you. Okay, do the right thing for you. Really listen, pay attention, follow your own path. Understand that you are who you are supposed to be at this time and go with that. You've learned many lessons along the way. I can see that, you know, I can see that there's lessons being learned still today, you know, and that you're learning something really big right now, believe it or not, and it's bringing you that much closer to your your greatest success yet because I see there's there's success to be had right now you're going through this period of solitude you're going through this period of discontent because you're being urged to follow your follow your soul's purpose okay um, you need to figure out what that is right and that's what's going on You have a lot of wisdom and this is this at this period of time in your life you're gaining wisdom okay you're gaining wisdom believe it or not and you don't don't even try to deceive yourself because you can't you know you can't you can't pretend that everything is okay you can't if you have to acknowledge your feelings all right <laughs> For many of you, something has ended or is coming to an end. There is a completion here. Um, I mean, both of these cards, the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords, can signify a death, an ending. And I'm not talking about a physical death. I'm talking about a death of something, an end of something. You know, where somebody was, was wearing a mask, that was something was untrue. Now, this could have happened. It could be happening this week or it could be happening in the future. There's, there's no more security. There's no more stability. There's no more, no more growth, okay? And there's a lack of um, support in some way. You know, you're feeling like it's just not there, okay? With this Page of Cups reversed and this Four of Cups, I mean, something isn't in this Nine of Cups reversed. Something isn't as it seems, you know, or it is, and you're, you're in denial, you know. I think you've been working really hard to make something work, and I just, I doesn't feel like it's happening. And now there's a lack of togetherness. There could be a lack of communication. There's like withdrawal, solitude. You, many of you could go through, be going through a period of solitude to refocus, Yeah, there's definitely some some um, hurt here. This could be rejection. It could be regrets. Um, either way, it's here. It's in this reading. Many of you are going through some heartache right now in regards to making a decision. You know, and you're really trying to make the right one. So you're, you've been really contemplating. You've been really focusing, trying to figure out what to do next. What, what's the next step that you should take? 
okay? It feels like you're trying to be responsible, you're trying to be practical, but it's really hard. Somebody is being very, very stubborn. I'm not sure if that's you or the other person, but there's definitely somebody who is being very, very stubborn and not wanting change, okay? And that could certainly be you, that you just don't want the change because you're comfortable where you're at, even if you're not happy, okay? And, but this is a dare. This is saying, okay, because this can represent you. This is the basis of your reading, this high priestess. And this card is saying, hey, act on your hunches, all right? This is a dare. Do you dare to step outside, to step over the cliff, to step over, you know, outside of your comfort zone? Do you dare to follow your hunches? I mean, do you? Do you really dare to? Do you dare to follow your intuition? All right? Do you dare to? Or do you, are you too scared and you're just going to resist change? Okay? It feels like there's a lack of emotional support here or a lack of love with the Ace of Cups reversed. If perhaps, you know, you're, you're feeling like your love life isn't where you want it to be, okay? I mean, it's, there's, it feels like you need to have more fun. You um, could have a choice between two people. And I feel like you, many of you are looking for more excitement. And there, it, there's just a feeling of, I want more. I'm looking for more. I, I'm not who I used to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not who I used to be. And I'm looking for more. So I think this week, so far as I can see, it's about following your intuition. Go with what you know. Your intuition is right on, okay? It really, really is. Do I think new love is coming in this week? No, I don't. I think many of you are working things out in your own mind, in your own life. Wherever you're at, you could already be in a relationship and it's kind of rocky. You know, if you're in one, it could be ending. If you are single, I think now's the time to follow your intuition. Get out there and have some fun. And you may meet somebody if you were to get out there. I think there's a lack of emotional support for many, many, many of you. You're looking for more excitement. You're looking for more fun. And you may have some regrets about your past. And you may have been, you know, you, you have some heartache. That's for darn sure. You know, and you may be... Um, at going through a period of solitude because it's a period time to heal. It's a time to refocus on your future. You may be even a little worried about what society thinks. Okay, that and I see that many of you are are afraid of something. You know, and maybe you're afraid to follow your heart, follow your gut, follow your intuition because of what somebody else is going to say. I mean, that could certainly be the case. Okay, so the first card is, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So so apparently, for you guys that are watching this, guys, gals, whoever, you know, and I'm pretty sure you do, with this being the basis of your reading, the high priestess, you know who your soulmate is. Okay, doesn't mean you're, that you're with this person right now. The fact of the matter is, is that you've met your soulmate before. Physically, you've talked to them, whatever the case is. Even if you haven't met them, met them physically, or maybe you've met them online. You've talked to this person before, okay? It is safe for you to love. And that's one of the reasons why many of you are going through a period of solitude right now. I think you're going through major changes, major shifts, okay? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's true love, unconditional love. All right, it is safe for you to love. Follow your heart though. Don't follow anybody else's heart, follow yours. Do you dare to do that? Do you dare to face adversity? Is what I'm trying to say. Does it matter what anybody else thinks? No, it doesn't. 
Love yourself first. <laughs> Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Now, this is a big message for you, especially with this. Many of you have this inner knowing of what you need to do next. But you are afraid. You're afraid of change. You're afraid of of what society or your neighbors or your mother or your father or somebody is going to say, I can see that. You know that somebody's going to think you're foolish. You know, you're afraid. Your inner guide is telling you what to do. All right? Go with it. And when you do, you really have loved yourself first. And I have to tell you something. When you love yourself first, that is when this one will come into your life. Front and center. Music. There is a melody to be heard in the deepest parts of the woods. If only we listen. Oh my gosh. Listen. 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 Please listen. Listen. Pay attention. At the beginning of this reading, I believe I said pay attention to the signs. All the signs. Observation. Your guide. Your gut. Everything. Seriously, listen. It's about you. When you love yourself first, the one that you have been dreaming of is going to come right into your life. They will be your perfect match. Trust me. So, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I, uh, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this video should not be on or anybody else's channel. If it is, please uh, report it and put a little comment that they have not, they don't have authorization. Thank you for your support, and I look forward to talking to you next week.